you're almost all ready to use the power of multiple networks at the same time. Here's the last few steps to get you all set up. First, you can rename the line in your US mobile account. Next, we've got a few options to activate. The easiest is the button that'll take you right to settings. If that didn't work, try and log in on another device, pull up that QR code, then scan it with your phone. That'll take you to the same place in settings and automatically start installing your line. If both of those methods aren't working out for you, you can do it manually. Just follow the steps on screen, copy the codes, go into your settings app, and it'll all work smoothly. Each type of phone is slightly different, so to make sure you get it right, I'm gonna break down each one. Let's start with iOS. Okay, once your line is active, we're gonna go through some prompts. This is also a great time to rename your lines. So pick your main line. I'd recommend changing it to the name of the network. So we've got Warp, we've got Dark Star. Now you know which one you're switching to when you're on the go. You should keep your primary phone number as the default for iMessage, FaceTime, calling, and texting. This way, when you reach out to your people, you'll be using the same number as before. Automatic data switching, gotta turn that on. This makes sure that your phone will go back and forth between the different networks. Once you've scanned the QR code and activated your line, now you can rename your lines. I would rename it to match the network. So my warp line with that phone number, I'll rename it as warp, go to the other line, rename it as dark star or light speed, whichever one you're using. You should keep your primary phone number as the default for calling and texting. This way, when you reach out to your people, you'll be using the same phone number as before. And make sure automatic data switching is toggled on. That is the feature that you wanna take advantage of. It'll let you bounce back and forth between networks when you're on the go. Congratulations, you've successfully installed your multi-network line. Now let's organize things a little bit to keep things straight. I recommend naming each line based on the network that it runs on so it's really easy to swap back and forth from your settings. So just tap the line, then select edit name and icon, and you can do whatever you want, but I recommend naming them Warp, Dark Star, or Light Speed, depending on which one you chose. Samsung is nice because you can actually give it a color to match too, so you can make Dark Star the red one, you can make Warp the blue one, it's really nice. Now that that's all set, I'll quickly show you a tip on how you can easily switch back and forth. Just pull down your notification bar, swipe down one more time, and tap on the lines. This will take you right back to settings, and you'll see there's a primary SIM dropdown. You can tap that, switch, and now your primary network will change. When you want to switch back, just return to this menu, tap on primary SIM, and you can swap right back. Something else to make sure you keep on is data switching. This is a great feature on Samsung phones that whenever your primary network loses connection, it will automatically start using data from the other network. We hope you love using multi-network. If you've got some cool stories or some cool ways you're using it, feel free to let us know. Happy connecting.